ठीक है वो सेंट्रल वीनस एक्सेस डेट इज सेंट्रल वेन इंसर्जन सेंट्रल वेन इंसर्जन इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द आई सी यू पेशेंट्स एंड क्रिटिकल पेशेंट्स एंड सम ऑफ द इंडिकेशन इज टू एक्सेस अ वेस्कुलर एक्सेस दैट इज वेरी इन द लाइक पेशेंट लाइक बर्नस पेशेंट और पेशेंट्स विच हैव अ सीवियर टाइप की इंजरी विच हैव अ पेरीफल वेन इंजरीज इन दैट पेशेंट टू एक्सेस एक्सेस अ वीनस वीनस एंट्री वी नीड टू पुट अ सेंट्रल लाइन सेंट्रल लाइन सो दैट वी कैन ईजिली गिव मेडिकेशन टू द पेशेंट एंड टू ऑल्सो द ब्लड प्रोडक्ट्स कैन बी गिवन थ्रू थ्रू दैट एक्सेस नाउ आई विल टेल अबाउट समथिंग सम प्रोसीजर हाउ द प्रोसीजर ऑफ सेंट्रल वे इंसर्जन टेक प्लेस तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू मेक अ स्टीराइल स्टीराइल एरिया दैट इज वी हैव टू वियर अ स्टीराइल गाउन स्टीराइल कैप स्टीराइल फेस मास्क now uh, we have to expose that area like there are three different sides of a central vein insertion we can put the central vein into femoral vein we can put central vein into the inter interjugular vein or we can put central vein into the subclavian vein the most preferred uh, uh, vein uh, is that at the time of emergency is femoral vein because it is easily to access and uh, uh, easy to access so easy to access and there is uh, whereas uh, in the other veins like subclavian vein and uh, interjugular vein they are uh, it takes some time to uh, time to put the uh, vein uh, to put the in the uh, central vein in surgeon in that uh, area now uh, first step is uh, first step uh, of uh, central vein surgeon is we have to uh, as i mentioned uh, uh as i mentioned that the we have to put a sterile gown we have to put uh, make a sterile uh, condition and uh, now we have to expose the area like uh, if we are putting the femoral vein which is most common now we have to expose the area of the upper thigh uh, from the upper thigh uh, to the mid um, uh, mid umbilicus area we have to expose that area clean that area and uh, we have to clean that area by the povidin iodine povidin iodine the center uh, center fugal type of manner that is from center in the circular round towards the outer side after cleaning that area with the povidin iodine after cleaning the povidin iodine now we have to put a sterile sheet sterile plastic sheet over that area and uh, cover the uh, surrounding area or uh, surrounding area by the sterile cloths now now at uh, the exposed area we have to first first we have to uh, palpate the femoral artery After we are able to palpate the femoral artery, uh, after we are palpating the femoral artery, we have to uh, we have to uh, uh, open the uh, catheter kit. There is a catheter kit in which all the instruments which are related to the central vein insertion is present, and uh, we have to make sure that it should be present in a sterile condition only. Now, and we should keep them on a sterile cloth. Up now, after opening the opening the the kit now uh, after opening the kit we have to take a, there is a uh, multiple in the kit there is a multi lumen catheter so uh, multi lumen catheter there are different type of syringes also there and they are there is dilators and uh, they are there is a guide wire now first we have to uh, assess the landmark after we have uh, uh, assess the site of uh, we have uh, the site of uh, where we have to put the uh, the where uh, we have to put the central vein now we have to uh, after palpating the femoral artery medial to the femoral artery there is a femoral vein where we have to put the where we have to put the central vein now we have to put, uh, give anesthesia to that area localize localize anesthesia to that area um, now we have to put, uh, put, put the uh, needle needle uh, is uh, like seeker needle seeker needle which is a seeker needle uh, where it is optional some uh, of the doctors do uh put the seeker's needle uh before putting the actual needle in the in that area uh or we can also directly put the introducer st- uh, introduce steel needle steel needle ab uh, now uh, we have to put the inter- introducer steel needle at the area uh, and insert in the central uh, in- insert in that femoral vein and the direction should be towards uh, da- uh, toward uh, downwards and towards the umbilical uh, umbilic- umbilicus and uh, we have to keep on uh, inserting that vein until the we puncture the vein we have to put that needle until the puncture is vein after the puncture uh, we puncture the vein there is a there will be the flow of the blood will be there now first we have to differentiate we have puncture the vein or we have puncture the artery to differentiate we can see that uh, if there is artery the blood will be very bright and uh, the pulse rate is manner whereas uh, the vein the blood will be very dark and it will be go, uh, come very slowly slowly so it will differentiate so we have to put in the vein so if the vein has uh, is punctured by the non needle we are as uh, we can we can be assured that uh, uh, it's dark and the blood is coming very slowly 
after we have put at the needle now we have to take the guide wire guide wire we have to put inside that uh, um, needle uh, there is a space in between the needle from where the, uh, we can put the guide wire guide wire should be put from that uh, side where there is a j shaped tip is present so uh, then we have to put very uh, very slowly slowly we have to put the guide wire and we have to make sure that the needle should be uh, hold in that position only because if the needle get displaced then we it may get out from the vein now the guide wire should be put inside like 10 to 15 centimeter inside the vein and uh, it should be put very very slowly without any resistance if there is any kind of resistance is there so we have to remove the guide wire and again check the flow of the vein uh, we should not like force the guide wire to go inside now after uh, putting the guide wire without resistance now we have to put uh, we, have, we can remove that uh, needle from there and we can put uh, now uh, we have to remove that needle from the that uh, the needle which has which uh, we have put earlier uh, now there is a guide wire and we have to hold the guide wire in that position now there is a dilator so there are different type of dilators uh, we have to start from the small to big one so from the small dilator we have to uh, insert the dilator so that uh, dilator is put, put basically so that uh, after uh, it can make a space around in the vein where where we can put ultimately we can put the catheter so we put the dilator first so dilator in first a small dilator it will dilate that area second dilator will dilate more uh, more the vein and third dilator will dilate proper uh, vein properly after that we have to now after dilating that we have to put now uh, the take the catheter and start putting uh, over the guide wire over the guide wire we start we should start putting the catheter inside 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 uh, we have to put the catheter after putting the catheter inside uh, inside we have to uh, uh, we have to remove the guide wire now after putting the catheter we have to uh, placement of the catheter we have to remove the guide wire and we have to check before before we remove the guide wire we have to check ki, uh, that the catheter lumens are all the three like if the trial lumen catheter we are putting so all the catheter lumens are patent to check we have to flush that catheters we have to flush that catheters with the normals uh, with the solution which has no uh, with the solution which has normal saline mixed with heparin because we have to prevent any type of any type of uh, like clotting in that uh, lumen uh, if after checking the uh, that the lumens are properly working we have to uh, we have to remove the guide wire there and we have to uh, we have to suture that catheter to the skin so that uh, it does not uh, dislodge it from its position and this is the procedure of putting a central line and uh, as far as i concerned i have put femoral central line only so i know the procedure of femoral central line and uh, i will now uh, basically de uh, differentiate that uh, there's uh, the three different side of femoral vein femoral uh, three different sides uh, the three different sides uh, like a femoral uh, femoral vein we can put we can put uh, like in the interjugular vein and in the subclavian vein there is some quite difference between them that like the interjugular vein there is some advantage and disadvantage in the interjugular vein there is bleeding can be recognized and controlled very easily and uh, there is less chance of pneumothorax where the disadvantage interjugular vein is that that uh, there is a risk of carotid artery carotid uh, artery puncture there is a risk of carotid artery puncture and there is a there is a main risk now in the subclavian vein there is a most of, of, uh, important very uh, sub important uh, disadvantage that that we have to uh, it can cause pneumothorax because uh, if behind the subclavian there is the apex of the lobe of the lung do the type of insert it may uh, it may hit the lung and con pneumothorax and which is a further complication very severe type of complication and uh, whereas the femoral it is very easy to access but uh, the complication is that infection uh, chance of infection in the femoral vein insertion is more common as compared to other two these are the difference between the thin vein Thank you.